Well, Sparky here from SparkyUOnline.com. How's everybody doing today? This is a uh, fire suppression shutdown control box. And basically what it is is when you walk into a kitchen, commercial kitchen, and turn a switch on, your makeup air comes on, your exhaust fan comes on, your hood light comes on, and in this case, um, we actually have the uh, dishwasher and exhaust fan for the dishwasher in this, this control box too, even though it's not controlled by this one particular switch, it has its own separate switch. But anyway, we've got all the conduits coming in from the various locations, the exhaust fans, makeup air, so on and so forth and um, of course the switch box but this contactor right here uh, this one operates the uh, the supply fan and the hood lights so in case um, in case there's a fire and the fire suppression system is tripped it'll open up the contacts and this uh, uh, contactor will open up and we'll shut the power off to the exhaust fan and the or I'm sorry the makeup air and the lights it also has a set of auxiliary contacts in here dry contacts that will be uh, operating the shunt trip breaker it will send 120 volts back to the shunt trip breaker which has a magnetic coil in it so when the power is sent back to it it actually trips a breaker and cuts off the power to all the equipment that's underneath the hood so like the fryers or whatever that plugs in a 110 unit we've got three circuits down there and it'll trip all three circuits and they're all uh, three single pole circuits and then this is the dishwasher uh, exhaust hood uh, contactor and basically what it is it's got a separate switch to it so that uh, when they walk into the kitchen as well you can't run the dishwasher without the exhaust fan running uh, this was just the most convenient place to put it. Uh, this kitchen's pretty packed, so uh, we just put it all in, in one control box. And then this is the exhaust fan for the makeup air. And the purpose of this one is it's tied in directly to the switch, so it will remain running at all times. So to go back over this, when this one kicks in, which is the supply fan makeup air, um, and the hood lights. This is the uh, exhaust fan. Both those are tied in together. This is the only one that will actually get shut off when the fire suppression system is uh, activated. This one doesn't matter. It'll remain running. There's there's no problems or issues there. So if you have uh, air conditioners or anything like that, if that's supplying air as your main supply your main makeup air going into the kitchen then you'd have to shut down the uh, air conditioning system as well so there's a lot lot uh, of wiring and a lot of thought that goes into this you got your your lines your loads your control voltages you got to have a power source coming from uh, your panel back through so that it will if uh, the suppression system is activated it'll send the power back to the shunt trip breaker and trip that off too. So this is a pretty cool little deal. I'm working on a, a full video on how to wire these and, and how to do them. Um, and I'll put that on the website, but it, it's going to be a while with the holidays and everything. Anyway, just thought I'd throw this up here and, and show you guys uh, what a fire suppression control box looks like. So, got any questions, shoot me an email. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.